Yeah. More money, bitches. Coming to you live from the city of Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. So what it do, young nigga? 100. Yeah. More money, bitches. Coming to you live from the city of Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. So what it do, young nigga? 100. What it do? I'm Jennifer and I'm going to be starting a video series for those who are interested in becoming a sound engineer. Um, also known as sound design, recording arts, whatever your name is for it. A little about me, I am not a sound engineer yet, but I'm in the work of becoming one. So I know the ups and downs of getting into the industry, especially the music industry. So that's why I am creating this series sound engineering one-on-one to give you to be of more assistance as possible give you information of being a sound engineer basically i'm going to be telling you um, about the ups and downs of a sound engineer what to expect in the studio um, what schools offer the major what recording software you need to be familiar with and so much more let me start off by giving you an overview of being a sound engineer most people with a passion for music become the recording artist without singing or playing a note. Those are the people like us trying to be a recording engineer. Um, recording engineers basically are responsible for any audio making it sound good and any aspect um, in, the, in the field that you're working in. The good thing about being an engineer is that it's flexible. You don't have to stay in the same field you major in. Um, most engineers find work in broadcasting, motion pictures, game, and cable as well. Now in a recording studio, that's where the engineers are responsible for getting the clean recording of a performance. The post-production side of being an engineer, that's where you begin doing the sound effects, adding all the sound effects, changing the tempo of the music and the song, doing the mixing and mastering, and so much more in that part. So as an engineer, you have to stay up to date with all the software that is required for being an engineer because you don't want to be left behind in any of that. Most entry level positions start off as being an intern. You may not get paid for a lot of the stuff that you do, but it's good to be behind the scenes and working with that engineer, the professional engineer, to get the, you know, to gain knowledge and um, better yourself as an engineer. To be honest. If you really don't want to do this, you need to do some research because it requires a lot of time and a lot of patience. You're not going to become an engineer overnight. It, it, it's all in the working process. So, be on the lookout for more stuff of mine. Engineering 101. I'm out. I can conceive it. You see, the motivation for me has been telling me what I could not be.